hello guys in today, today's video was analysis we might skip the mlvss analysis so let's start first of all we have the fresh sewage sample which was collected from our nearby sewage treatment plant so you can see there is a, a lot of sludge which has settled down and now these are our filter papers first of all for carrying out the mixed leaker suspended solids or you can say the total suspended solids first of all we should dry this filter paper so i have added two filter papers so that i will be having two samples now to minimize the error i'm keeping two samples let us dry these filters at uh, around 100 degrees c for half an hour so that the moisture whatever moisture is in the filter it is removed now we have an imhoff cone which we will be finding out and be pouring the water which is having sludge well mixed sample to the imhoff cone this is the graduation is around 1 liter and then we will wait for around 30 to 45 minutes and then we will find out the set label solids this is very very important in finding out the SVI and SDI for the sludge sample so let's pour and wait for 30 to 45 minutes for the water sample you can see there is a very few amount of sludge also it depends upon the way we do sampling from where we take the samples we take the samples close to the i mean to the origin point or the source point we'll talk about the sampling and uh, its protocols in our next consecutive videos we just have one sample for this one sample i will be finding out doing the two taking the two samples for the mixed leaker uh, suspended solids and this is the set label solids let's wait for 30 to 45 minutes this is the set label solid path so the set label solids is around you can see the graduations so it's below one so we can say this is around one ml per liter now this is our filter dried then we will cool it down and then weigh it for the sleeker suspended solids or you can say total suspended solids So the weight of the first filter is around 1.47 grams and one is around 1.51 grams. Now we will pour around 100 ml of the well mixed sludge sample here. Which is around 100 ml. And we will wait for it to filter then we will dry it similarly we will take another sample here now this is my second sample now this is the, the filtered part So you can see this is the with lot of suspended solids we'll try this in the oven keep the filters inside the oven preheat oven we'll keep this oven till it dries so usually half an hour to one hour it will dry then we'll measure the suspended solids the weight of the first filter is around 1.60 gram after drying in the oven so this is for the computation of total solid suspended solids. The second one, this is around 1.73 grams. What we will do, we have taken two samples. So we will take the average of both of them. Okay. And also, if you want to find out the mixed volatile suspended solids, uh, so we need to burn that. So we will skip that step because we, for the calculation of SBI and SDI, we just need one of them okay? because there is a relationship between MLSS and MLVSS. Now guys, on... On calculating the value of SVI and SDI from the experimental result that we got in the lab, MLSS in the first sample was around 1700 milligrams per liter, and in case of the second sample, it was 2200 milligrams per liter. 
the average value of both the samples as we took two samples from the same water so the value is 1950 and our SVI and SDI you know that SVI is the ratio of subtle sludge volume into 1000 milligrams per gram upon suspended solids concentration in the water that is mixed liquor suspended solids here even if we take this around as 0.75 for example the value would be 0.384 this is very low and here even conclude that sludge has a poor settleability usually the value of SVI lies from 50 to 150 so it is very low and now the value of STI is basically 100 upon SVI so it is 100 upon 0.3564 which is equal to 280 also it depends upon the way of sampling as we took just one sample the value is very low in case of SBI and usually SDI also lies from 1 to 2.5 which is showing very high and SDI basically is like SVI to determine the sludge slating characteristic and return sludge pumping rates and SVI basically will tell you how a clear a good quality effluent is here in this case our MLSS which is 1950 which is uh, below than the range should be from 3000 to 4000 and usually the MLVSS is 60 to 80 percent and uh, the SVI that should lie from 50 to 100 or 100 to 200 so if it is less than 80 it indicates that it does not indicate sorry that uh, low poor settling it indicates that it will have fines in the sludge and the normal range is from 50 to 100 and the relationship between SVI and MLSS basically if we want to increase the SVI so we have to increase the waste sludge rate and this will create a less dense particles that settle slightly lower and if the value of MLSS is low so it indicates in higher SVI calculation okay that's all about the calculation of MLSS and MLVSS SVI SDI Okay, in order to increase the accuracy, we should take more samples from the same point and we should also check our sampling protocol, sampling methodology so that our results are in the range. Okay.